Hey guys, the topic for discussion now is joints. So focus on joints now. This is an important topic from anatomy where you get the kind of questions like let us uh, let us suppose they ask you about spino occipital joint belongs to which kind of uh, joint whether it is fibrous syndylysis syndesmosis synchondrosis synarthrosis so see all the names are similar they look like identical twins to us in the exam so we tend to confuse and mark the wrong one so here i am to help you rule out the options on basis of the name there is a hidden mnemonic in these names so let us try to learn them now so that you will not forget now yeah I have already told you the topic for focus now is joints, right? So focus, FCS, is fibrous, cartilaginous and synovial. Remember in the same order, focus, fibrous, cartilaginous and synovial. Synovial has ova in it, right? Two ova. There are two ova in a female body. So ovial, two ova is diarthrosis. Whereas coming to the cartilaginous part, cartilaginous is in between, that is amphi. Amphibians are the uh, creatures which live both in land on water, right? So amphi is both like in between. Amphiarthrosis is for cartilaginous middle one C and the first one fibrous is synarthrosis. Okay. So synarthrosis, amphiarthrosis and two over diarthrosis. This is done. Now let us divide cartilaginous the middle one into primary and secondary. So this is primary cartilaginous joint and secondary cartilaginous joint. So primary cartilaginous is otherwise called a synchondrosis. Actually the spelling does not have E in it. It's just chondrosis. Okay. But I have write, written E so that you can remember one for one. Primary one is synchondrosis and secondary is symphysis. Now coming to the first one, gomphosis, sutures and syndesmosis comes here. So here you need to remember that DE, syndesmosis comes here. So there is another mnemonic here that DEFG. Remember it like that. So syndesmosis, DE and syndylysis also. Okay. So syndylysis, syndesmosis is a fibrous joint and it also has gums gums meaning gomphosis okay so g d e f fibrous so remember it like that syndylysis i'll discuss later now in the next page so this is done now let us in get into the uh, division of fibrous joint where it has sutures gomphosis and syndesmosis right so sutures are different types like uh, uh, this is the simple suture this is the serrated one serrated example is sagittal as far as the squamous this is for squamotemporal suture okay and this is lambdoid d for d there are two d so it is dentate and rostrum of spinoid and ala of vomus the spinovomeral joint is shin dialysis so this is the example d e remember it as d e f g shin dialysis shin desmosis is a fibrous joint fibrous joint also have gums in it that is gomphosis the other example is D desmosis, so syndesmosis. Remember two important uh, uh, bones like in the upper limb it is radius and ulna, in the lower limb it is tibia and fibula, right? So in the upper limb you start from above, like upper limb it is middle radial ulnar joint, whereas in the lower limb it is inferior tibiofibular joint. Okay, so in the upper limb it is middle radial ulnar joint which is syndesmosis, and in the lower limb it is inferior tibiofibular joint which is syndesmosis. The sacroiliac joint is also syndesmus. Just try to remember this uh, schematic diagram so that you have a pictorial memory. Middle radial nerve, inferior tibiofibular and sacroiliac joint. So this completes the S, S and gomphosis. Right. So gomphosis, sutures and syndesmus is done. Now let us move to cartilaginous joint. Cartilaginous joint has primary and secondary, right? So yeah. Primary and secondary. Primary is one. So synchondrosis. Secondary is symphysis. As all of us know, symphysis is easier one because all the midline joints, whether it is back side, that is vertebral column midline or the front sternal column. So vertebral column midline is IV disc, sternal is manubrio sternal, xiphis sternal, sacrococcygeal, and pubic symphysis also. Pubic symphysis name itself has symphysis, so I have not involved included here. It is easy to remember, right? So remember all these names in symphysis. They usually don't ask you question from symphysis because it is the easiest part. They concentrate on synchondrosis mainly, okay? So synchondrosis 1 is primary cartilaginous joint and the examples here are costochondral and occipital. So synchondrosis is of cartilaginous joint example, right? So both C's. Costochondral, occipital has two C's. Spino-occipital. So spino-occipital and costochondral joints are the examples of synchondrosis. Synchondrosis is an example of amphiarthrosis. So 
these kind of questions they ask you they directly give you about spino occipital joint and ask you whether it is amphiarthrosis or synarthrosis syn dialysis syndesmosis so you don't need to confuse this big belongs to synchondrosis which is a part of amphiarthrosis so you need to go like that now coming to an important diagram here these are the five important bones okay vomer sphenoid occiput atlas and axis this is like most important slide because you tend to confuse here and uh, now it is going to be easy for you first we have learned this allo of vomer and rostrum of sphenoid in the first slide right that is syn dialysis let me take you back to the first one here see syn dialysis we have remembered it as d e dialysis for fg that is fibrous so syn dialysis here is fibrous or synarthrosis now comes this spino occipital joint spino occipital is double c double c is synchondrosis which is a part of cartilaginous here i have explained it syn spino occipital is synchondrosis and cartilaginous joint so yeah now comes joint between occipital and atlas that is atlanto occipital joint here we make s movement when we like rotate our head turn our head we make s movement with atlanto occipital joint and no movement with atlanto axial axial joint okay so s movement is es ellipsoid es whereas atlanto axial is x for no right so no movement no movement is pivot joint so remember it as pivot joint make v out of x so pivot joint is atlanto axial and es is ellipsoid that is atlanto occipital spino occipital double c is for in chondrosis with the cartilaginous cc and uh, this one is shin dialysis the first one fibrous joint so this is an important slide and most of the questions are asked from this slide now comes the next one here is rib cage uh, this also uh, is an important zone where uh, questions are asked like remember it uh, he, this is the sternum right manubrio sternum body of the sternum and the xiphoid sternum and here is the clavicle clavicle gets attached to acromion process of scapula right so here is acromion process clavicle and the sternum so acromio clavicular joint is a plain joint whereas sterno clavicular joint is saddle joint you need to remember uh, i uh, sorry i don't have any mnemonic for this part you just need to remember this thing acromio clavicular is plain and the sterno clavicular is saddle revise it many times and you will remember it easily so and here comes the ribs right so first trip making the joint with the sternum that is first sterno costal costal means rib right so first sterno costal is first for one primary cartilaginous previously it was classified only under primary cartilaginous joint but now some books tell that it is under syn arthrosis that is fibrous joint also so i don't know like there is a controversy here that's why i have included both the names you go according to the options okay so first sterno costal is primary cartilaginous and syn arthrosis and remaining that is 2 to 7 sterno costal joints are plain so this side uh, this slide is mostly having plain joints acromio clavicular is plain and 2 to 7 is also plain okay and the first sterno costal is primary cartilaginous or syn arthrosis according to some books and first uh, this sterno clavicular is saddle joint so this is all about rib cage now coming to the malleus incus and stapes so these are the three ossicles in the ear so first malleus and incus is incudomalleolar joint which is saddle joint next is incus and stapes incudostapedial joint is ball and socket joint so mi is a sad event right heart attack is a sad event so mi is a sad event sad is saddle event that is saddle joint and incudostapedial is ball and socket joint this complete the ear ossicles now comes radius and ulna and tibia fibula bones so radius and ulna i have already discussed that superior uh, this middle radial nerve joint middle radial nerve joint just try to remember it comes under syn desmosis right which is a part of first thing that is fibrous joint syn arthrosis part okay so syn desmosis middle middle radial nerve is syn desmosis whereas upper and lower that is superior and inferior radial nerve are pivot joints and other example of pivot joint is just try to remember yeah it is atlanto axial right so we made v out of x so atlanto axial is pivot joint with no movement no x is no that is pivot joint and tibio fibula here superior and inferior tibio fibula joints so inferior has f letter in it so it is fibrous joint superior has p letter in it this is plain joint we have learned this inferior tibio fibular and middle radial nerve together like syndesmosis okay whereas 
superior is plane fibrous meaning syndesmos is part of fibrous okay so let me take you to that slide so that you can recall it easily yeah syndesmos is radio ulnar middle one and inferior tibiofibular is under syndesmos and syndesmos here it is it is a part of fibrous which is otherwise called as synarthrosis right so this slide is done yeah this is also done yeah, radius ulnar tibia fibula is done now comes the saddle joint it is otherwise called as cellar joint mi is a sad event so incudomelial joint joint is saddle joint and here remember it as m c combine it cmc for saddle joint it is m c repeat it cmc so cc is calcaneo cuboid joint for cc you remember it as dd that is saddle joint calcaneo cuboid cc saddle dd and the first cmc that is first carpo metacarpal joint is a saddle joint that is thumb right a thumb first carpo metacarpal is saddle joint and the next one is sternoclavicular joint which is also a saddle joint in that rib cage diagram i have drawn this this complete saddle joint now comes balance second joint this is like least important because you don't get questions from this uh, because we know like since like since our childhood that shoulder is a balance socket hip is a balance socket joint and the uh, new things that you need to remember is incus stapedial joint malleus incus stapes malleus and incus is saddle joint and incus and stapes is balance socket joint and tail tailo calcaneo navicular is also a balance socket joint now comes the hand here uh, you need to remember it as elbow wrist metacarpophalangeal and interphalangeal joint in the same order elbow and inter interphalangeal joints are hinge joint whereas the middle two are ellipsoid joint okay so elbow is hinge wrist and mcp are ellipsoid ip is hinge interphalangeal joint is hinge till now we have learned many examples under plane joints uh, saddle joint pivot joint Uh, ball and socket joint and ellipsoid joints right all these joints uh, are under the examples of diarthrosis diarthrosis that is uh, synovial joints okay so firstly we learned about synarthrosis that is fibrous and the middle one is cartilaginous and the third one is diarthrosis which is synovial so all these come under the synovial joint examples yeah mm, we are done with the examples of all these joints so yeah wait 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 you have questions let us solve two questions and you will be done so here's your question find out the incorrect match from the five options i don't give you five options to scare okay i just give you to uh, tell you the possibility that how much ever you read you'll always find some new thing in the options but you need to somehow get to the correct answer right so uh, you sometimes go to the answer directly like shoot at the answer like you know the thing very correctly and sometimes you need to rule out so let's see what work outs here so first thing temporomandibular joint yeah first one itself is a bam we don't know what is temporomandibular so let's keep it aside now elbow joint so we know elbow joint wrist metacarpophalangeal and interphalangeal this is the order so first and last are hinge joints middle two are ellipsoid so yeah elbow joint is hinge is true done then comes superior tibiofibularis synarthrosis wait a second superior tibio fibula is synarthrosis synarthrosis meaning first one right so focus f fibrous fibrous should have inferior right spelling should have f in it so this is superior superior is something plain joint so this is this is the false option yeah let us read the other options also metatarsophalangeal is ellipsoid joint we don't know this also but metacarpophalangeal is ellipsoid right in the upper limb if mcp is ellipsoid in the lower limb mtp will be ellipsoid like the two are same right mcp and mtp so that is okay then comes intertarsal with is plane joint what did we learn in plane joints acromio clavicular is an important plane and uh, second to seventh sterno costal also we have learned in plane joint so and you need to remember that intertarsal intercarpal intermetacarpal and intermetatarsal okay intercarpal 
intertarsal, intermetacarpal and intermetatarsal. All these also come under plane joints. Plane joints have very like varied distribution. Okay, so you don't need to remember everything. You just need to remember these two because this is something different. Acromia clavicular and second to seventh sternocostal remaining are same. And I have already taught you that the thumb one, that is first carpometacarpal joint is cmc c c m m c m c that comes the mnemonic and a saddle right what what is about the other other uh, carpometacarpal joints others are plain again okay so others are plain and first is saddle you need to remember so yeah now answer to this question is this one okay third one this is the wrong one because it is a superior it is given it should be inferior tibia fibular joint so this question I solved for you. Now comes the actual question for you. Sternoclavicular joint is A. Super options, right? Everything looks similar. Comment your answer. I know, I know you can answer this correctly now because after this whole uh, lengthy discussion, you need to answer this, right? And I want all of you to answer in the comment section. Please like, share, subscribe to the channel for more such videos. Thank you. And yeah, the telegram links are also shared in the description below. So you can go check there once and join the telegram channel for the updates and more such kind of MCQs.